Welcome back everyone. So, if you haven't watched my previous video, I recommend going to watch it now. Otherwise, you won't know what that is. So we're revisiting the injector core. And this time, I'm adding some color shift blue and color shift yellow to the cad yellow light and cad yellow or cad red medium and I'm switching out the cobalt blue and we're putting some repression blue in there as well I have my black I have my white I'm not gonna be using the white base but we will need a little of this to spray it down and this guy afterwards I'm going to reduce the amount of paint that I put in here by about that much and then Instead of putting the base coat right on the top there, I have one of the empty rings from my tape. So I'm just going to place that right in the center, just like that. And we're going to fill this up with the base color, which today I mixed up some black, some white, and some silver to make a darker gray color. So that's what we will be using. Probably a lot of pain right there, but better safe than sorry. Now the reason I'm doing this is in the last one I learned, with the white, it spreads out too much, or any base, it, it'll spread out too much before you can actually do what the pour was intended for, which is to come in and inject the color into the paint. Once we have that, then I'll quickly lift this up, let the paint flow, and go on from there. Okay, so I have it filled. In between the yellow, I added some black and white. In between the blues, I added some black and white. And in between the, right after the red, I added some black and white. Now there's a little plastic part that comes with this. I recommend keeping that little plastic thing because it allows you to open up one of the holes. Now on this one, the needle has a sharp point and then it has two open areas, one on this side and one on this side. This is the one that we are going to be using. So let's see if I can do this, slide this up to release the paint from there. Now we're going to inject this in, and we're going to push. Oh, it's already coming up. Let me zoom you guys in real quick. So now for the fun part, we're going to lift this up and make a mess. And then when I initially intended in the first one is I wanted to blow some of this out and release some of the color. So I think I'm gonna do that right now. For all of you who have one of the air guns, don't be afraid to use it. Just dive right in. There's so many cool opportunities that you can have and so many really cool paintings and stuff you can make using it but I've been hearing a lot that a lot of you have bought them and you don't use them because you're afraid to use them so you don't understand them but the best way to use them and learn the pressure and the distance that you need is by using it 
I recommend just throwing, getting a cheap canvas, throwing some cheap paint onto it, and then pushing it around with the air compressor, just to get a feel of how it moves the paint. I'm trying to get some of this base color up and around. In case I want to leave any of this as negative space. I can't wait to tilt this. I keep looking at it and I keep seeing really cool things happening. All right, are you guys ready for this? I'm going for this corner first. And let's stretch it out. Let's see where we can't open up by pulling. No ground shadows make no sound. Game of hide and seek Where do I go from here? Why? So I turn and down Should stay on the run So blend in a dream You whisper in my ear Lost in your eyes So I'm gonna come in again with the air compressor and we are going to run it along here, a little in this corner, and maybe a little along this edge. But I really like what's going on here. It has that cool crocodile skin kind of thing going on, which is fun. It's so crazy how I added two different blues and it made this really pretty green in here when it mixed with the yellows. And the one color that I knew was going to take over, the Soho Cad Red Medium, that's why I didn't add any other reds. I'm going to come in a little bit with the airbrush and try to see if I can't get any more air or any more color in this area real quick. from last night if you guys a sneak peek of how that is doing so this is the one from yesterday some really cool colors and cells came up on this I was trying to bring out some more of that blue but it just wanted to stay hidden we got some really cool alligator cells going on with that yellow. We got some unicorn wisps, is what I'm going to call them. They're light pastel rainbow wisps coming off of that end right there. And then we got some pretty reds and yellows. It's funny how the red and yellow didn't want to mix in this one, whereas the other one they wanted to make a lot of orange. So, goes to show you every single time you can use the same colors and doesn't matter. Doesn't matter the technique or the colors. The paint's gonna do what the paint wants to do. 
All we can do as the artist is come in and try to manipulate afterwards or try to pour and shift and get it to a place that we find be beautiful. <laughs> so I have some ideas coming up that incorporate the injection pour mixed with a few others that I've tried recently. I even talked to Christina and she wants to give this a try and she had something in mind which I'm excited for. I want to see how hers turns out. So Christina, I'm waiting for that video. You know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, you can always message me and I'll remind you. But I'm, I'm excited to see Christina's take on this. And once again, if any of you are going to be trying something like this or anything on my channel that you haven't tried yet, all my links are below. So please go click, share, show me pictures, show me videos. We have Facebook, we have Instagram. There's so many opportunities to share with each other. And I just want to see your, your take on this or what you did different and everything else. I mean, we're here to share. We're here to grow. Mostly we're here to make art and hopefully you guys view this as art. But so don't forget to like, share, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.